These are the male employees working for Ainge, and we've extended it to his vendors and suppliers. Yeah, we hit on four. Burglary. This guy's a car thief. He's got assaults, but looks like your typical bouncer sheet. This one, though, he's interesting. Greg Sutton. He was hired as a booze provider for the club, although his company name appears to be fictitious. And there's absolutely no invoices with his product being delivered to the establishment. Payout. Yeah. Look at his record. Misdemeanor possession, felony attempt to distribute. And five years ago, strong arm robbery, he beat a truck driver half to death with a tire iron. Back of the head, just like Danzig. That's him. I swear to God, I'm telling the truth. All right. Number three. Jeep's here. Engine's still warm. Take it. Greg Sutton, Chicago PD! Go. <laughs> Chicago police! Hold those stairs up. Okay? Yeah, safe. Cover the stairs. Ready? Team searched his nightclub and his condo, and you failed to uncover anything linking Martin Ainge to these murders. Am I right? That's right. You found the killer. His weapon matched the shootings at the shelter and at Markham's loft. We know that Ainge is behind the whole thing. Well, that's a very compelling allegation, but I'm sorry I'm not prosecuting based on this. So what? Ainge gets to go back to club life like nothing ever happened? No. He doesn't. I already told you, if you have any further questions, call my attorney. Give us a little privacy, please. Thank you. You too. Take a walk. Well, now there you did it. You stepped right into a harassment lawsuit. As of right now, I am going to own your piss and pension. Just say. Okay, okay, let's uh, let's take it easy, huh? You know, every once in a while, a worm like you slips a hook. You know, state's attorney says there's not enough evidence to prosecute. Oh, so, you know, some patsy takes the fall. Worse yet, ends up dead, that sort of thing. Me and my unit end up muzzled, even though we know who did it. Hmm. Huh. 
I was thinking about something. See, a long time ago, they told me those little statues of justice are blindfolded so she can, what is it? Uh, so she can remain impartial. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I'm glad she's blindfolded because there are times I got to do things she wouldn't want to see. Oh, you want to work something out? We want to work something. Listen. Go back to Atlantic City, Ange. You got 24 hours, and trust me, I'll come looking for you. You're not out of my city by then. You and me are gonna take a ride. Well, I'll show you parts of Chicago you've never seen before. You understand what I'm saying? for you to start taking control of your own life right here, right now. Thank <laughs> you. 